Hi friends, welcome to another entry. So my name is Ratan. Guys, we are discussing today class onwards. I'm going to start, uh, you know, HTML, HTML, HTML tutorial. Yeah, HTML. Guys, clear? Huh? So we have some videos on the core Java, advanced Java, Spring and Spring Boot. Today I'm going to start the HTML right? Yeah. So HTML is a bit very very important as a full stack developer these days. That's what everyone please focus on the HTML, so right? Yeah. If you go for the HTML, guys, HTML stands for what? HTML means hypertest. Tell me, guys, hypertest what? Uh, markup language, right? Yeah. HTML means what? Hypertest markup language. So generally, we have the programming languages like you know uh, Java, Python, C, C, P programming languages. But this HTML is a programming language, markup language. It's like markup language, right? So what is the meaning of markup language means? The markup language, it's not consists of the coding part. Okay. The markup language uh, contains like, you know, uh, tell me guys what it contains. It contains a tag based programming. So if you go for the XML, extensible markup language, right? So XML full form is what the extensible markup language. It means XML also we have the tags based, right? In the same way, HTML means what a hypertest markup language. So which is not a programming language is a markup language. Basically, markup languages does not contain the coding part, uh, which contains like, you know, uh, what are, it contains the tags, right? Exactly. And HTML is uh, created by, so Tim Berners-Lee, okay. So Tim Berners-Lee in 1991. You get the point, right? He is the creator of the HTML pages, like HTML other guys. He is the creator of WWW also, World Wide Web, right? Yeah. You got the first point, right? The first point tell me here, HTML means what? Hypertest markup language. It's a markup language, uh, it's a contains a tag based programming. It's not like coding part. Eh? And which is created by Tim Berners-Lee in 1991, right? Exactly. Sir, what is the purpose of HTML? Okay, see HTML, using HTML, you can create your own website also. HTML, use it to create the websites there. So we have the websites like tutorials, multiple tutorials in the internet. HTML is used to create the basically like you know websites. Otherwise, you want to see your career as a professional web designer. If you want to see your career as a professional web designer, uh, web designer means what? Uh, you can go for the HTML, right? Web designer. So I'm interested in web designer, sir, rather than the coding part. Rather than coding, if you want to become a web designer, you can go for the HTML, right? HTML is used to create websites. Uh, you can create your own website. And if you want to see your career as a professional web designer, you can go for HTML, right? Exactly. You got the point, right? Yeah. And basically, what the purpose of HTML means, HTML is used to create the, okay, create the web pages. HTML is used to create what? Web pages, right? Exactly. And more specifically, you can say, HTML is used to create the static web pages. Tell me guys, what the meaning of static web pages? The static web pages means which can respond to which is not responding. Static web pages means what? It's not responding, right? Exactly. So using HTML, you can create the static web pages. Uh, static web pages means what? The web page which is not responding. And to make this static web page, HTML is used to uh, to use it to create the static web pages. To make this static web pages like you know responsiveness, like dynamic web pages, because to make the Okay, to make the, what nature tell me guys here? Yeah? Dynamic nature. To make the dynamic nature, what we will use, uh, what we'll use means JavaScript. So using using HTML, you can make uh, what pages guys here? Static pages. Static pages means the buttons will respond or will not respond. The buttons will not respond. To make the static pages in the dynamic nature. Dynamic nature means what? You enter the username, enter the password, click on the login button. The login button will respond. Static web pages means the login button will respond and not responding. The login button is not responding, right? Exactly. So to make the dynamic nature, we can go for what, what concept guys? JavaScript. And moreover, to make the, okay, to make the stylish format. You design the static web pages, right? If you want to make the, that web page more stylish format. To make the, what you can see here, stylish format, uh, use the CSS concept, right? What we'll use guys here? CSS. First of all, you should have the clarity about what is HTML. HTML is used to create the static web pages. What is the meaning of static web page? The web page which is not responding. Like now the buttons are, when we click on any button, the button is not responding. 
then how can you make that uh, web page static web page into the dynamic format so using which concept guys here javascript the javascript will make that static web page into what a dynamic format when we click on the button the button will respond how can you make that website is very stylish format using what css right what a css full form guys here uh, cascading hmm. cascading what style style sheet right yeah that's the third point because you got the point right what the html tell me guys hypertext markup language so it's a coding language a markup language it's a markup language what does it mean by markup language the language consists of tags which is given by tim berners lee in 1991 and html is used to create your own web, web, web websites if you want to see your career as a professional web designer you're going for html concept and html main purpose is what to create a static web pages and uh, static web pages means which is responding or not responding which is not responding to make the static web pages are dynamic nature use the javascript concept okay and to make your website is a more stylish format we have to go for the css right very clear right exactly and to come to the fourth point because uh, once if you are good at the once uh, once we are good at what html so that you can easily understand what css javascript react that is html related right once we are good at html so that easily we can understand what what is a javascript what is a react we can use a further technology very easily that's what you should start with what uh, you should start with what html right as a ui developer <coughs> as a ui developer right user interface so the fourth point is what once we are good at the html so you're uh, we can learn the javascript the react uh, angular so whatever it may be right that's what you should start with what html course right exactly Yes, clear. We need to start with what the HTML, right? Exactly. And fourth point is, <clears throat> so HTML file is normal text file, guys. It is a normal text file. We need to save the extension is dot HTML extension. It is a what you can say, guys? Normal text file. It is a normal text file. We need to save. Hmm, we need to save what? Uh, we need to save the uh, dot what file, guys? Here HTML file, right? Because C language means C files means dot C. Java files means dot Java, like that. Python file means dot py. HTML file means what? Dot HTML, right? We need to save the HTML page which is dot HTML, guys. And even this HTML file will be executed by browser. Yes, HTML files are executed by. Tell me, guys, executed by what? Browser, right? Exactly. Yes, it may be any browser. Like you know, we can say the Chrome. Uh, we can say what? <clears throat> Chrome is there, Internet Explorer is there, and Mozilla is there. Like multiple browsers, right? Any browsers. So HTML files are executed by browsers, right? Just like Java is executed by JVM, na. So like that, the HTML code is executed by browser, right? Exactly. So it is a normal text file. We have to save the file using .html, and HTML files are executed by browser, right? Which is like a Chrome and Internet Explorer, like that, right? Exactly. Is it clear? Good. And sixth point. Uh, these days, uh, the HTML was maintained by okay. So maintained by double three C, right? So double three C. Double three C is nothing but double three means what? W W W C like this. Uh, got the point, right? Which is nothing but. Uh, tell me, guys. World wide. Hmm. World wide web. Hmm. Right. Uh, cartism. So world wide web cartism, guys. You got the point, right? What the full form of like you know, world wide web cartism. So this is like you know, it is maintained by double three schools, guys. Maintained by double three schools, right? Exactly. Okay, this is the basic introduction about HTML. See, so it's not like explaining hours and hours. So what is a HTML hypertext markup language? It's a markup language contains a tag which is given by Tim Berners Lee in 1991. But the HTML full form, uh, HTML is based basically to create websites. If you want to see your career as a professional web designer, you can go for HTML. So HTML use it to create the static web pages, which is responding, not responding, not responding. To make the dynamic web pages, you can go for the JavaScript, right? You can go for what? A uh, JavaScript. And to make your website as a stylish format, you can go for the CSS, right? Cascading style sheet. Once we are good at HTML, so we can learn the JavaScript, React, jQuery, uh, whatever it may be, right? Which is related to the UI technologies. And it is a normal text file. Uh, we need to save the code using .html, right? So now nah, .html. HTML files are consists of the browser. Uh, HTML files are executed by browser, right? Exactly. HTML is made by double three three World Wide Web Cartism, right? Exactly. Guys, are you clear, right? 
that is called you know so html basic introduction part guys first of all all of you please maintain the notes and uh, okay maintain the notes write the notes guys so we'll meet in the next video i will go for the html basic structure then i'll start the programming the next video itself i think you got the clarity right yeah and guys you need this material so this is html material prepared by myself so worldwide web prepared this material guys which is prepared by myself html written sir hypertext transfer html stands for hypertext markup language markup language means that consists of set of stacks okay so i written clearly document and even html editors guys we can write the code next video i'll show you what are the editors what are the ideas i will use okay you got the six points right all of you can you please write these six points maintain the notes every day i'll upload the two videos uh, so you can maintain one notes and write these all the points and if you need this material just you can send a mail to uh, ratna5256 at gmail.com it's my mail id just you can send the request this mail id so i'll send you the document for this mail id yes all of you uh, like the video comment the video subscribe to our channel to get the more video guys